This is Algebra 1, Lesson 109 on page 458. <clears throat> All right, notice the title. It's Advanced Factoring Trinomials, okay? We have factored these kinds of trinomials. And do you remember the questions that we asked ourselves? What are factors of? Factors of one, the C value, such that we add them and they equal the, uh, the B value, too. Yeah. So what are factors of one, so that we add them and they equal two? One and one. One and one, right. Yeah, so I made that one pretty easy. So it would be X plus one times X plus one equals zero, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, in this lesson, for all of the factoring we've done so far, this is called the lead coefficient. It's the coefficient with the um, term that has the high exponent, highest exponent. It's called the lead coefficient. It's always been monic, monic meaning one, okay? We've always had a lead coefficient of one. In advanced factoring, we're not going to have a lead coefficient of one. But it is so similar so I am teaching this different from the textbook. Your textbook looks at means and extremes, and it's a trial and error. My way or this way, not necessarily my way, but the way I'm going to teach you works 100% of the time. No trial and error. It works, okay? So look at example one on page 459. It's negative 7x minus 15 plus 2x squared. Okay, the first thing we have to do is write this in proper form. Right? That's what we had to do with these when we factored the ones with the monic lead coefficient. So our x squared term has to be first, our x in the middle, and our constant last. Uh, oh, 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. Correct. All right? Yeah, I got that. All right? So now we're going to talk about what our a, b, and c values are. Remember we said multiply equals the c value, but added equal the b value. A always went with x squared. Okay? So we're now going to look at all the a, b, and c. So the value of a is... 2. The value of B is negative 7. The value of C is negative 15. Okay, here's the difference. We're going to look for factors of A times C. So we're going to look for factors of A times the C value. So what's A times C here? 30x. No x's go here, so it's negative 30, 2 times negative 15. So we're looking for factors of negative 30, so when we multiply them, it equals negative 30. So this is what part that's changed, right? Normally we just looked at the value of c, such that we add them and get b. But now it's going to be factors of a times c, such that we add them and they equal the b value. So this second piece didn't change, got it? So what are factors of negative 30 such that I add them and the result is negative seven? Okay, one times 30, can I ever get to negative seven? All right, two times 15, can I ever get to negative seven? Three times, Three times what? Oh, three times ten. Three times ten. Yeah, uh, it would be yes. Yeah. It would be ten and negative. negative. Well, which one's gonna be negative? Negative. negative. Wait, negative, negative ten. ten. The ten's gonna be negative. <laughs> the ten's gonna be negative. The three's gonna be positive. Okay. Now this next little step is just a trick. Um. I would say there's nothing magical about it, but there is because it gives you the answers every time, okay? So once you get your factors, 
you're going to draw a little line under your factors, and you're going to write that lead coefficient, your a value, with an x. You're going to write your a value with an x. Got it so far? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just the rule. Follow the rules, right? You write under here your a value with an x. Okay, we're going to simplify. We're going to simplify the 2 and the 10. What goes into both 2 and 10? Uh -huh. Wait, 2. two. two. So that two? becomes 1, right? And this becomes? Negative 1? No, it's um, negative, negative 5. I knew it was whatever. <laughs> okay, y'all watch. Look at my factor. I read bottom to the top. X minus 5. Okay? Can I simplify the 2 and the 3? I can't. So it's 2x plus 3. Is that the answer? That's the answer. Oh, this is magic. Okay? So you just right put it under the eight factor, under it, and then divide? It simplifies? You're simplifying. You're not really defining, yes, right? But it helps you to see the simplify. Oh, okay. Well, that makes it pretty. We're factoring. Factoring. Factoring advanced trinomials. That's correct. We're factoring not any sort of trinomials. We're factoring advanced trinomials. If so I we multiply. We the foundational part, and now we're advanced. I teach this in Algebra 2. Okay. It's rules. It's rules. Did you write down the process? What's the first thing we did? Put it in the right order. First. Proper form. Proper form. That's right. We, we all knew the right thing. What did we do next? What did we do second? Um, We labeled them. Labeled A, B, and C. Does label have two L's in it? No. I, uh, I don't think so. Label A, B, and C. What did we do next? Um, we found the factors of A times C. Factors of A times C such that what? Um, they, they, they equal B. Added, they equal the B value. You remember the right. formula. We're right. <laughs> then once we had factor one, factor two, here that was the negative 10 and 3. Under those we put the A value. A value with an X, A value with an X. Then what do we do? We simplified. We simplified. Only the numbers, right? Only the numbers. And then we wrote the factors. And Hailey knows how to do this. Well, this is the first time you've heard it. This is the first time anybody's heard it. When they say, I think it's not a few of you. All right. Well, you can go back and watch the video. Okay. All right. Let's do another one. This week, got you like stickers of music. Well, it's. Okay, y'all are going to help me work the next one. All right? All right, number two. Wait. It's on the video. Ooh, she's it's on the video. It's kind of messy, right? All right. 3x squared minus x minus 2. All right? We're about to walk through those steps again. What's the first thing we did? Uh, may put it in proper form. Is oh, it? It's in proper form. Oh, yeah. It is. Not All right. label it A, B, and C. All right, label A, B, and C. A is what? Uh, 3x squared. No, A is 3. Oh, yeah. Oh, 3, 3, 2. Not x squared. A is, the value of A is 3. B is? Negative 1. Negative 1, and C is? Negative 2. Negative 2. So now we're looking for? 
So the fact that A times C, C, A A C, 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 C such that they, when added, they equal B. Good job. What's A times C? Uh, six, negative six. Negative six. Multiply, they equal negative six, but added, they equal? Uh, um, negative X. one. Negative one. Negative one. Wait, if you do negative 3 plus 2 it would equal negative 1, and negative 3 times... Negative 3 plus 2 equals negative 1. Negative 3 times positive 2 equals negative 6. Okay, what's next? Uh, we simple... No, not yet, not yet, not yet. You, you, you put, put it under the A value. Yeah, put X. A, X. So it would be under 3X. Okay. And then, then we simple... Okay, so this first one's going to be? 3x minus 3. It'd be negative 1. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, yeah. So this one's going to be? x minus 1. And that one is? Uh, 3x plus 2. Yes. That's exactly right. And I'm going to rewrite this in the other hand. I didn't even know something. Excellent. Thank you so much, Isabella. Okay, <laughs> got that? I mean, I'm pretty messy here, right? Mine is really messy. Hers is messy. When she's writing fast, it's... Oh. Does this make sense so far? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do the last one. The last example for this chapter. The horse that was screaming in my ears. Okay. <laughs> and Emma, just pay attention and you'll be able to follow the steps with us, all right? I can't. Okay, 5x squared minus 13x minus 6. First thing. It's in proper order. Already. It is in proper order. <clears throat> so what we must do next is label A, B, and C. Label A, B, and C. A and is what? <clears throat> 5x. 5 so we must multiply 5 times negative 6 such that when added, they equal um, negative 13. That's correct. Okay, A times C. That's the 5 times the negative 6. So that's your negative 30. And when we add the factors that... Multiply equal negative 30, what are they? It is 10 times 3 again, and it would be um, negative, negative 10 positive 3. Wouldn't they both be negative, actually? No. I'm pretty sure they would both be negative because it's, ne it's negative 13. Well, but a negative times a negative. No, because but it's added. then in the first one, it would be positive. Oh. Right? Mm -hmm. So a negative times a negative would give me a positive 30. So would it be negative 10? And then positive 3? Yes. Does that equal negative 30? No, it doesn't. Wait. Wait. It's not 10 negative 30 plus. It's not 10 to 30. Oh, uh oh. Even though that was a good start, right? It's it's some other. Oh, it's 15 times 2. It's 15 what? times 2. It's negative 10. 15 times positive 2. <gasps> I wish I was smart. You, you are, are smart. Caitlin, <laughs> those words are not allowed in my class because you are smart. You. you are so smart. You know why I know that? Because you were thinking. And and you were trying to ask yourself, does 10 and 3 work? You weren't just sitting there thinking. Mm -hmm. You were processing. Oh. You were working through it. And every time you came to a dead end, you knew it wouldn't work. You were logically walking through the process. That's amazing. Okay. Negative 15, positive 2. Okay. What do I, what's the next thing I do? Um, you put negative 15 and positive 2, 5x under both of them. Okay, Correct. 5x under both of them. Then That's not um, good. the top one would be negative 3. That becomes 1. That becomes neg negative 3, right? And so what's that factor? 
Um, x minus 3. Yes. Um, and then that would be 5x plus 2. Yes. Yes, Caitlin. Yes. Okay, could we quickly, yeah. could we quickly check this? Um, yes. Well, like, the correct answer is yes. So let's let's do it. Let's multiply it out. When I redistribute this, I should I should arrive here. Okay. All right. So let's do it. X times five x um, is five x squared. Five x squared. X times two. Two. Plus two x. Negative three times five x. Negative fifteen x. Negative three times positive two. Negative six. Okay, let's combine our like terms. We have 5x squared. Minus 13x. Minus 6x. Yes, it worked. Wait, what? Yes, it worked. Wait, that's cool. We are. That is cool, isn't it? You really have to see it.